Hey, it's Dan Zimmerman. Welcome to Illustrate to Educate. Don't forget to subscribe for weekly objective videos on topics that matter. Have you ever heard of the movement for our People's Party? In this video, I'll talk about what this movement is all about and we'll take a brief look at their current platform. First, let's look at where the movement for a People's Party began. The movement for a People's Party, or the MPP, started following the 2016 presidential election as draft Bernie for a People's Party. Bernie Sanders declined becoming the party's figurehead, instead again sought after the presidential nomination within the Democratic Party. Recently, the organization held a virtual People's Convention in August of 2020. The convention was covered live and viewed by 400,000 people. They believe that the current Democratic Party is heavily influenced by billionaires and corporations and that it operates undemocratically and cannot be reformed. The MPP aspires to broader societal concerns than that of the Green Party and that a new movement will offer the energy and innovation to make a greater impact. The MPP's future plans consist of developing and passing a final People's Party platform in 2021, have candidates run in the midterms in 2022, and possibly run a presidential candidate in 2024. Now that we have a little background information, let's dive into their current platform. First, let's take a look at the MPP's views on healthcare. The MPP believes that access to clean air, water, food, and healthcare is a human right and that everyone deserves an opportunity to grow and live in a safe and healthy physical and psychological environment. In comparing the US to other countries, they point to data that shows that the US spends more on healthcare and drugs than any other developed country and thus they support Medicare for All, a single-payer system that covers prenatal, mental, vision, dental, preventative care, prescription drugs, and all other medical needs. They support eliminating food deserts found in poor communities by ensuring universal access to fresh and nutritious food and clean water through a Clean Water Act. Lastly, they support ending the criminalization of mental illness that puts mentally ill people in prisons rather than treatment facilities. Next, let's take a look at their views on civil rights. When it comes to gun control, they support increasing gun control laws in order to protect rights to life. This includes banning assault rifles, armor-piercing rounds, bump stocks, and high-capacity magazines, in addition to initiating a federal buyback program for these weapons, as well as universal background checks. They support demilitarizing the police by banning the transfer of military weapons to domestic police forces. They want to legalize marijuana and end the drug war that they say targets communities of color. When it comes to equal rights for women, they believe that women continue to face violence, discrimination, and institutional barriers to equal participation in society. This includes equalizing the imbalance in women's salary across the country. They believe that women have a fundamental right to control their own bodies and that women's access to contraception and the availability of safe and legal abortion should be protected. Lastly, they support the continued efforts to completely eliminate LGBTQIA discrimination and abolish segregation by sexual orientation. When it comes to education, the MPP believes that learning and training unlocks a person's ingenuity and talent. Thus, they support making public education free from pre-K through college. They support efforts to move away from standardized testing, and they say that in a world where information can be accessed instantly on the web, skills to analyze information should be taught rather than memorization. They support efforts to keep student to teacher ratios low and that all students should have access to high quality free online learning. They also support reversing the privatization of schools. Lastly, they point to the amounts of student loan debt that they say robs younger generations of purchasing basic necessities to start families and accelerating the decline of the middle class. Thus they believe that we must abolish the $1.3 trillion in student loan debt. How does the MPP view the economy? They point to President Franklin D. Roosevelt and his proposed Economic Bill of Rights that guarantees employment, food, clothing, leisure, a living wage, housing, health care, social security, education, and freedom from monopolies and unfair competition to every American. They believe that it's time to fulfill Roosevelt's vision and guarantee the necessities of life to all as a human right. They point to the advancement in automation and artificial intelligence that is advancing so rapidly that studies predict that half of American jobs will be automated within the next 15 years, and some refer to this as the fourth industrial revolution. They want to ensure that people are provided for during this transition, and thus they support a universal basic income. Lastly, they aim to shorten the work week to four days and progressively reduce working hours as automation improves, as well as increasing the minimum wage to $15 an hour. 
When it comes to the environment, the MPP believes that our infrastructure is in disrepair. They believe that we must enact a Green New Deal that will put millions of Americans to work to repair our crumbling roads, bridges, airports, dams, harbors, and waterways, and modernize the electrical grid for a renewable energy future. They aim to make all new energy capacity clean and renewable, ending coal, oil, gas, and nuclear developments. They also want to expand bus lines, subway systems, high-speed rail, and other means of public transportation while reducing public transit fares to broaden access and take more cars off the road. They support boosting innovation with investments in basic research and STEM education, which they say will reignite the country's passion for space exploration and an ambitious manned mission to Mars. Lastly, let's take a look at the MPP's views on immigration and foreign policy. The MPP believes that we must reverse the criminalization of the 11 million undocumented immigrants in America and create pathways to citizenship for them. This includes passing the DREAM Act, which naturalizes all undocumented immigrants who were brought to the U.S. as children. They support expanding DACA and DAPA and ensure that Medicare for All extends to undocumented immigrants and allows them to purchase health insurance through the Affordable Care Act. The MPP believes that the U.S. defense spending is over excessive and unnecessary and that more focus should be placed on the peace dividends that were promised at the end of the Cold War or focus on internal threats within the U.S., such as poverty, hunger, and health care. They point to the trillions of dollars of spending to upgrade nuclear weapons over the next decade, which they believe to be unnecessary. They believe that money could be better spent on making universal pre-K and public college free across America. Did you enjoy this video? Hopefully it gave you a good introduction into the movement for a people's party. Please like and share the video, subscribe to Illustrate to Educate, and comment on your thoughts about the MPP's political views. And don't forget to check out some of my other videos to the right.